Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Faded, I need your advice. Faded Holy Soldiers, Mr. Advice. Welcome to another edition of Mr. Advice. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Mr. Advice. As you see, I'm out here live in um, my hometown, my city. Elizabeth, uh, New Jersey, Broad Street. All my viewers from New Jersey, I'm sure you recognize this area. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few of your questions here, Mr. Advice. Let's get this shit started, all right? Portugal 2781, I wanna give him a shout out for uh, being a good friend and, and being my cameraman, by the way. All right? Anyways, let's get this shit started. Um, I warn you, 1617 asked me, yo, hey, Faded, the other day I was having sex with my girlfriend and it was unexpected. She just showed up at my place and we started making out and ended up having unprotected sex. Wow. The sex was awesome and I loved it, but we used no condom. I didn't think she got pregnant because I didn't come in her. Two days later, we did it again with no condom. Is there a possibility, possibility that she may be pregnant? You know, I, I know this guy, I warn you, he's a young teenager, he's like 15, 16. Let me tell you something, dude, always, always, always have protected sex, all right? No matter how young you are, always wear a condom. It's that simple, all right? Because you don't want to have a... <laughs> you don't want to have a kid at 14, 15 years old. You're not ready for that. Always wear a condom. I understand it can be pleasurable, raw. You know, I experienced that. I know raw sex is great. But don't get caught up in it, you know? But I hope, hopefully you're doing okay. Um, Demon and Angel Life asked me, Hey, dude, I was in the library and a girl threw a bottle at me. I wanted to get up and beat the shit out of her with the bottle. But I don't want to get in trouble for my parents. I think my dad would be cool if would be cool with it if she hit me first. But my mom, I don't think she, she would like it. I respect my mom. And I try to respect her wishes. What would you do? Sorry if my spelling is bad. Yo, did you understand that question? Uh... I I'm, I'm spaced out, bro. Yeah, me neither. Let's move on. I, you don't think there's some mierda. I'm sorry. Yo, I didn't understand that shit. Anyways, let's move on. Oh, here we go. Firecracking57. I'm a male student and I started using an online dating site. I got a message from a nice looking girl and after talking for the last couple days, I'm thinking of meeting up with her. But I don't want to do it too early. How long do you think I should give before I ask to meet her up for a cup of coffee? Well, dude, I met plenty of girls online. Try to get comfortable with them. Make sure you build up that positive connection. And if you build up that positive connection, if you think you're ready, you ask her out. It's that simple. It's not like you're. It's not like you're asking her, you know, to have sex with you right away. Just ask her out simply, and she should give you a yes or no answer. You know, hey, you want to go out for a cup of coffee or not? It's that simple, right? Let's move on. Our next question comes from. Ch Chi Town 736 I have a girlfriend Me and her Have been dating for about 6 months And I caught her cheating on me She tried to make up with me with sex But I didn't take it I really like this girl But I did I do the right thing The moment a girl cheats on you bro Mandalo a la mierda Tell her to get the fuck out If she wants to make it up with you by giving up the pussy That's fine, you know, hit it and quit it And after you, you do your business Mandalo a la mierda Basically, tell her to get the fuck out. Am I right, Portugal 2781? Thank you. All right? Uh, that's, the way I, that's the way I would do it, you know? If she cheated on me and she wanted to make it up with me with sex, I would, say, I would say, okay, whatever. And then after that, get the fuck out of here, dumb whore. Okay, our last question comes from Marco5860. And he's Mr. Big Bad Bobby's lawyer. This is a guy running to me from prison, by the way, Portugal. Wow, really? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, my client, Mr. Big Bad Bobby, is going through some tough times right now and is in jail. He is only able to send YouTube messages through me, his lawyer. He says, there's this, he says there, are no, there is only one man in the world that can help him with this problem. And that person is Mr. Advice, which is me. His anus is getting raped daily by Gay Bubba, and the police won't do anything. Every day he is forced to bend over, drop his drawers, and take Gay Bubba's big black cock in his ass. Sometimes the guards even watch and have a good laugh and slap and slap five with Gay Bubba. Mr. Big Bad Bobby isn't getting out of jail anytime soon and wants to know what he should do about Gay Bubba and his big black cock. 
you know, when you get locked up in jail and prisoners want to rape you, you need to establish and you need to let them know that, yo, you're not taking, you're not taking no fucking dick in your ass. You defend yourself and you punch this motherfucker. I'm sorry that you're in jail. Whatever the reason you're in jail for, hang in there and you have my support. All right? Yes, what do you want to say? Oh, uh, yeah. I just want to say to Big Bob, uh, what was his name again? Mr. Big Bad Bobby. He's the one getting raped? Yeah, in jail. Well, uh, he, here's a good advice for you, bro. If I was me in jail, i will be a nasty, dirty shit motherfucker. I'm going to have shit on my ass. So if they ever want to fuck my ass, they're going to have shit up in their dick. Very good, uh, very good uh, advice, Portugal. I know it's nasty, but hey. Yes, it is, but hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to survive. Exactly. And our last question, I know that I said it was the last question, but I'm going to answer one more for the hell of it. Just don't drop the soap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, EOJ Segura. Last question. This is pretty interesting. Hey, Faded, I recently graduated from high school. But there was a teacher, Miss Kim, my old biology teacher, that I really wanted to fucking stick my cock in her mouth. Mm. I, used, I used to fantasize about her all the time. And recently, and she recently added me on my Facebook. Should I ask her if she wants to fuck? What should I do? P.S. She is fucking hot. Well, since this is the last question, let me put these papers away. Um... Sometimes you need to understand with women. Some women are just friendly because they, that's just their nature. They're just friendly. Your teacher, based on that student-teacher relationship, you must have gotten on her good side. She saw, she saw that you were friendly and she wanted to be friends with you right back. It doesn't mean that she want to fuck you, you know? Just, you don't want any sexual harassment charges against you, you know? Um, just keep talking to her. See if there's any sexual chemistry that builds up with her. But if not, dude... Uh, just stay friends with her, you know what I mean? But if you think you have a chance, seeing that you already graduated and finished your class and you want to ask her out for a cup of coffee or uh, for dinner or whatever or hang out, see what she says. And if she's down to hang out, then you know you're halfway there to get inside Miss Kim's, uh, the bi biology teacher's panties. And that's all I got to say. Film the scenery, Elizabeth Broad Street. And that's about it, people. Thank you very much and peace out.